what we all need to do. We all need to pray always and keep our mind upon the Lord tonight because I'll say one thing, He's soon to come. He said, be you ready because of the coming in a day, in an hour when you think not. I look around a lot of times, I see the shape that this whole world is in and I think that God can come any second. And you know what? I know the day that God is going to come uh, and I want to do everything that I know to do to be ready. Uh, I want to be ready to meet God because I know one thing, children, you've got two places today. You can choose to go with God or you're going to go to hell with the devil. Uh, that's the two choices that you've got and you've got to choose wisely today in this whole world because I'm going to tell you what people today are being to see right and left. But I'm going to tell you, troubles are coming. Troubles upon people. Pain is upon people. But God said, I'll put no more upon you than you're able to bear. Uh, a lot of times you walk in this old world and you think that you can't go on. And it seems like you're burning down. But God is right there always to lift you up in the time of trouble. He said today that he'd lift you up tonight. He'd give you power and strength to follow through. Uh, and God will do exactly what he said he would do. Amen. Amen. I was glad tonight that we're serving a mighty God that's got all power in heaven and earth. But I'll say one thing, children, in this whole life, you're going to do some suffering. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 I'll say one thing today. We are on death's trail tonight. Death is not behind us. Death is out there in front of us. Uh -huh. We don't know when we're going to run into it, but one thing we know, by the help of the Lord, we're all going to die. We're all going by the way of the grave. And then I'll say one thing, unless the Lord comes quickly, we're all going to go by the way of the grave. I, and I think many times I said, Lord, look at all the children that's passed in this church. I, look at all the children I, that at one time had started up in the hollow, even though when we was young, I, and now we used to be young, and now we're the older, you know, we're in the church today. What's going to happen to the church today when this generation has passed away? Where is the people today that want to serve God? Where is people today that's want to lose God and turn their back upon God? But you know what? My heart says, Lord, have mercy upon each and every one. Yes, you know Lord. what? God is dealing with people. Uh -huh. But people won't heed that call. People look at this thing and they think that it's something that's funny. They think it's a game. But children, this is no game. This is no game. Your soul is on the line tonight. And you know what? I'm glad today that I come to know a man called Jesus. I, a man, the only man that I know that could turn my life around. And I'm glad tonight that he turned that life around today. Aren't you tonight? Aren't you glad tonight that God turned your life around? That God made a change that no man can make? I, I tell you what, that's the only way today that you can make it is by trusting in the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. By the help of the Lord, I'm going to start in the book of Job. In the 14th chapter. My heart's desire. Tonight. Is to see each and every one make it. I want to see each and every one make it tonight. I want to see you make it. I want to see my children make it. I want to see your children make it. I want to see everyone's loved ones make it tonight. But whether they do or not, I can't help what that individual does. But the Bible says to save yourself from this untoward generation. I, only one that you can go for is yourself. I, you can't go for your mama. You can't go for your daddy. You can't go for your brothers or sister. You've got to go for yourself. I, you've got to make it up in your mind, no matter what you go through tonight, that you're going to go all the way through. I, no matter how many troubles, I, how many trials that you've got to go through, you've got to realize tonight that God is right there with you. He's a leading you, and he's a guide you all the way to the other side but you've got to have faith in God uh -huh. you know what we can read the 11th chapter I believe it is the book of Hebrews and you know what in the world today they've got a saying that they call the hall of fame well read the 11th chapter of the book of the Hebrews that's the hall of faith tonight and that's what you better be reading tonight is about the hall of faith how the people had faith and they believed in God you know what there might come a time when we might not be able to trust in no man we might not be able to trust in a doctor because there might not be no doctors there what if you was in a place that you couldn't get to a doctor that you couldn't get to some help but the only thing that you could do was call out on the Lord would you have enough faith? Would you have enough faith to say, Lord, help me? Yes, Lord. 
You know what? I know today, with all of my heart, everybody's burdened down. Everybody's going through something, some trial, some trouble, that the devil's trying to pull you down. That the devil's trying to tell you that he can't, that you can't make it. But you know what? That devil, he's a liar and the father of it. Yeah. And I'll say one thing. God said you can make it. And I believe it with all my heart that we can make it tonight if we just trust in God and say, Lord, I trusted in you, Lord, I, because you said, Lord, I can make it. And if you said I can make it, I know that I can make it. With your help, that's the only way that any of us can make it is by the help of the Lord. Yeah. 14 chapter book of Job. Listen to what he says. First verse. I'm going to read 1 through 14 here. He said, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of what? Trouble. Trouble. Full of trouble. Yes. You see, you hear people day every day tell you go to join church. But you know what? You can't go join a church. You're born into this church. Amen? Yes. It's something you can't go shake the hand of a preacher and say that preacher's going to save you because a preacher can't save no one. I can preach to you the words, but it's up to you to heed the call when God calls and knocks upon your heart. It's up to you to get down to business with God and seek Him with all your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength and be filled with the Holy Ghost like the Word says. I, I can't give it to you, but God can. But you've got to seek Him and you've got to ask Him and you've got to believe with your your all heart that God is right there with you. But I'm telling you one thing, children tonight, we've got to trust in a mighty God. Listen to what he said. He cometh forth like a fire and is cut down. His flesh also is a shadow and continueth not. Our life is like a vapor. It just uh, comes up a little while and then it's gone. You look around today, it don't seem like it was no time that we were just kids, Brother Glenn, up in the church, just as kids learning the Word of God as little children. Uh, and that's where it all starts tonight, as a little child. How many tonight was in the church at one time as a little church, as a child that come up in the church? Yeah. Aren't you glad that somebody had enough faith in God to bring you to church? Uh -huh. Ain't you glad tonight that somebody thought enough about your soul to show you which way that you had to go? Yes. And you know what? I'm glad tonight that people want somebody showed me the way to go. And when God began to knock upon my heart, I'm glad that I heeded that call. But you know what? God, they can lead me to the water, but you can't make that horse drink. And but I'll say one thing tonight. When somebody brings you to the house of God and God begins to stir your mind and God begins to draw you forth, uh, then that's when God is a call on you. Uh, and don't ever turn the call away from God because you don't know when he's going to deal with you again. That's what he says. And he said, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Out of an unclean? Not one, but God can. God is the only one. But listen to what he said. Seeing his days are determined and the number of his months uh, of the months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his what? Bounds. His bounds that he cannot pass. God that. knows each and every one of us. God knows when we're going to go out of this whole world. Amen? Uh -huh. I'll say one thing tonight. God is the only one that knows tonight. But you know what? We can all went out and met to death but one time. I remember one time when I was a driving and we was going to, I think it was to Arkansas, and we, I was in the service, and I remember one time going down an old dark road, and we had our car loaded down and had another boy with me. And you know what? It just seems like I fell asleep at the wheel, and that old car began to go off the road, and I just said, just kept going out and going out until I was dead asleep. I, but it seems like I woke up just in the split of a second, and it seemed like there was a car right there, right? It was a hit right into it, and a something I woke up, and I hit that wheel, and I looked back, and that car wasn't there. You know what? God could have easily took me out. Uh -huh. God could have easily took me out right then. Because I'd had a call that God had called me. And I took that call and I pushed it aside. And I did just like a lot of people today say, Lord, I'm not ready. But you know what? The Lord was ready for me. Uh -huh. I was the one that made the decision to turn him away. 
You're the one today that turns him away. When God says to do something, you turn him away. Uh -huh. But I'll say one thing tonight. When God tells you to do something, you do it with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, regardless of what the world thinks of it, regardless of what people says about you. Brother, I'll tell you what tonight if God says to do, then you do it with everything that's in you tonight. Listen. For there is hope of a tree if it be cut down. That it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth and the stalk therefore thereof die in the ground. Yea, through the sand of the water it will bud and bring forth boughs like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yea, man giveth up the ghost. And where is he? As the waters fell from the sea, fall from the sea, fell from the sea, and the flood decayeth and drieth up. So man lieth down and riseth not, till the heavens be no more. When? Till the heavens be no more. Yeah. Listen to this. And they shall not what? Awake. Awake, nor be raised out of the what? Sleep. Now he didn't say he was going to die, did he? He said, I'm going to wait to prepare a place. And to where he is, you can be also. Uh -huh. You see, Jesus said, listen, everywhere when we die, uh -huh. God said we're just going to go fall asleep. Yes. We're asleep in the arms of the Lord. Uh -huh. And you know what? He's not going to wake us until that day comes. And you know what? I'm glad tonight that God said, you know, we might die in this old place. But when we die, we're really just asleep in the Lord. I'll say one thing tonight. If you're going to die, you better die in the arms of the Lord. I, because I'm saying tonight, that's where your hope is tonight. That's where your eternal life is tonight. But I'll say one thing just like old Job began to say right here. Listen to what he said. And he said, oh, thou that wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep my sleep. Keep me secret until thy wrath be passed, and that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, now listen to this, if a man die, shall he live again? Job asked him the question, if a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait until what? Until my change comes. Yeah. How many believe there's going to be a change made? Uh -huh. Huh? You know what? I've thought many times about this glorified body. You know what? This old body gives us enough trouble. This old flesh and blood is not going to go to heaven. This old body here is not going to go. But let's go to, let's go to the first chapter. First Corinthians 15 chapter. Yes. You know the Bible says through much tribulation. He said do we enter the kingdom of God. Through much tribulation. And you can find that in Acts 14 and 22. He'll tell you the very same thing. Through much tribulation do we enter into the kingdom of God. Every one of us is going to suffer pain in this whole body. Every one of us is going to go through things in this body. But I want you to listen to one thing. I want to read one last chapter, one verse in this before we get out of here to Job here. Then we'll go over here. The last verse in the 14th chapter of Job. You know there's something, just like I said, it's going to take each and every one of us out of this whole world. It might be a car wreck. It might be a disease. It might be something else. It may be something natural. But every one of us is going to die. Every one of us is going to suffer pain. You know what? We can still call out to the Lord. The Lord can give you relief. But that every time we call out to God, when you're going through something, you know all people, they say, God's going to give me healing no matter what I'm going through. God's going to give me healing no matter what. But you know what? If God kept giving you healing, you'd never die. Amen? Amen. Listen to what he says. At the last verse, he said, But his flesh upon him shall have what? Pain. Shall have what? Pain. Pain? Is that what it says? Yes. Upon his flesh, he's going to have pain? Sure. Every one of us. Is going to have pain. And his soul within him shall what? Mourn. Shall mourn. Now let's go to the 15th chapter. And you know what? I hear a lot of people begin to say this. What kind of body are we going to have? Uh -huh. You know what? I don't care what kind of body I have. I know it ain't going to be this old flesh right here. 
Right. Amen. I know that it ain't going to be flesh and blood. But the Bible says we're going to have a glorified body like unto one, like unto his. Amen. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this old body here, it suffered enough in this old flesh. But I'm glad tonight, praise God, that we can go someplace uh, where there's going to be no more death, yeah. no more sorrow, no more yeah. grief. I'll say one thing, yeah. you're going to live with God forever, for eternity. It'll be worth it tonight if you hold on and press your way through all the way then. It'll be worth it, children. What's more important than eternal life? What's more important than not suffering in this old flesh no more? This old flesh has given us enough trouble, hasn't it? Huh? It's given us enough trouble. But you know what? By the help of the Lord, I'm going to show you what the Lord says. Listen to what he says. 43rd chapter, 43rd verse, 44th verse. <coughs> 1543. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in what? Glory. In glory. It is sown in weakness. And it is raised in what? Power. In power. It is a, there it is a sown, a natural body, and it is raised a what? Sure. A spiritual body. But there is a natural body, listen, and there is a what? A spiritual body. You understand that today? Look. You see a natural man standing right here. Uh -huh. But you know what? There's a spiritual man down here too. This old natural man has given us nothing but trouble in this life. A man has given us nothing but sorrow. And we're going to be born in this life. We've suffered pain in this old flesh. But I'm going to tell you one thing, children. When you fall asleep with God and you raise up that day, you're going to have a glorified body. Just like in the one like it. And it's going to raise in power tonight. And God will give you power to overcome all these things. Listen. Amen. As it is written, this first man, Adam, was made a living soul. And the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And after that which is spiritual. The first man is of what? Earth. Is of the earth, earthly. And the second man is the Lord from heaven. Yes. And that is the earthly, such are also they that are earthly. And as in the heavenly, such are they that also are heavenly. As we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the what? Yeah. Of the heavenly. Now listen to what he says. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot, everybody say cannot, yeah. cannot enter in to the kingdom of God. Listen. Now is that what the word of God says? Inherit. Listen. Inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. He said, but behold, I shall show you a mystery. This is something that the world don't know. That's right. You know what? I hear people preach and teach all these things and say, well, that's going to be something today when you're going down the road and this great rapture is going to take place uh, and it seems like he said it's going to take God's people out and people are going to look around and some people on the bus and some people on the plane is not going to be there. That's carnal thinking. Uh -huh. That's carnal thinking. You know what? Flesh and blood, the Bible says, cannot enter into the right. kingdom of God. Its old flesh is going right back to the earth. Right. And you know what? There's going to be a spiritual man that's going to raise, and it's going to be with God forever. But listen to what he said. Can't you see today how people take the word of God and they make it carnal to where they get the, to make it feel good to the flesh? Right. But you know what? These things are just things that you hear. They're not things in the word of God. God's word didn't teach them. God's Word doesn't teach it. So if God's Word doesn't teach it, why do people want to listen to it for? Push it aside. Throw it away because it's no good. That's right. You see all kinds of things that even people in this denomination, even people in our denomination, will preach and try to tell you all these things. They'll say there's going to be a great rapture. The word rapture is not even in the Bible. That's right. Amen? That's right. You know what? I read an article years ago. They said there's a woman in the Plymouth Brethren Church in England at one time, and I believe it was in the 1800s sometime, she prophesied that there was going to be a, a, a rapture 
taking place. And the Bible and the, 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 they say, the newspaper began to say that there's a lot of newspaper people in the audience, and they took it and they printed that, and it went like wildfire. And you know what? It's still going like wildfire today. That's right. Because people have taken something that was false and tried to preach it as being true when the Bible don't even teach this. That's right. Amen? Uh -huh. Listen to what he says. He said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all what? Sleep. Sleep. But we shall be what? We shall be changed. Listen. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, when? At the what? At the last trump. Now when that last trump sounds, you know what? That's the end of it. That's right. No more. No more. He ain't coming back but one time. There's people today will try to tell you that he's coming back two or three times. But the Bible will preach that, teach that. Listen to what he said. In the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised. For incorruptible, and we shall be what? Shall be changed. For this corruption, corruptible, must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this incorruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall I put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Amen? Listen. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is what? Sin. sin and the strength of sin is the law. Has death being fully destroyed yet? Not yet. Not yet. He said death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. That is the second death. Mm -hmm. Listen to me tonight. There's people today who will try to tell you these, these things and try to preach something to you different tonight, but I want you to listen to what the Word of God says. Take what the Word of God says and let's base it all on what the book says and what the kid said of what we believe. Amen? If the Word don't teach it, I don't want to believe it. Amen? I want to stand on what God's Word says. Listen, let's go on. You know what? I can imagine by the eye of faith. I know the Word don't teach this, but I want you to listen. Can't you imagine when the devil come to the Lord and put him up on that cross? There was the Lord hanging on that cross for all of our sins. And he put that crown of thorns upon his head Drove the nails through his feet. Drove the nails through his hands. Yes. He did all that for you and me. And no doubt, I can see by my faith that the devil's a laughing and mocking and thought, well, we've got you now, boy. You stood upon the word, but where are you hanging at now? But I'll tell you what, God come and he raised out that grave. Yeah. He raised tonight and he's still living tonight and he lives down in our soul tonight. Yeah. He is still alive. He's still real tonight. Don't let you take it out. That God is alive. Yeah. God is real tonight and he lives tonight yeah. in your soul. I have this land. How did I not did it? Yeah. I say one thing tonight. God is real and he's still working in our soul. He's working in the church. I'll take one thing tonight. God is real. God is real. Hallelujah. How many believe God's real? And you stand tonight. Raise your hand. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Because God is real tonight. Thank you, Lord, tonight. Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Glory to God. Hallelujah tonight. God is real tonight, children. I'm going to tell you what tonight. You might think you're down tonight, but listen to what he done to you. He loved you so much while you was yet a sinner. Yeah. And he come and died. And he shed that blood. And I, I say one thing tonight. That old devil might have laughed. But you know what? God got the last laugh. Right. Hallelujah. When he come out of that grave. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I, I'll say one thing tonight. You know what? When they went to find that old body, you know what? That old body wasn't there. Hallelujah. He just borrowed that tomb from Joseph. He just borrowed that tomb from Joseph. I, he didn't do it. That grave couldn't hold him there. I'll say one thing when that stone was removed. There was nobody there. That body of God had went back to the God, that spirit that gave it to life. Hallelujah. I say one thing tonight, children. God is real. Hallelujah. 
God's still working tonight in the church, devil. You liar. I'll say one thing tonight. The devil's a liar. How many can you say tonight that the devil's a liar? Hey, God's still here tonight. God's living tonight. Down in your soul tonight. Hallelujah tonight. God's real tonight. Praise your name, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, I'll tell you what. By the eye of faith, I, I can see the old devil mocking you. But you know what? Boy, when he come out of that grave, I, I can see the devil's head out. I can see the devil running out. And he's still running tonight. But I'll say one yeah. thing, children. I, he's after your soul. I, he's after my soul. Yeah. And if we're not careful tonight, you can let him catch you tonight. Uh -huh. But you know what? Amen. Everything that we're going through tonight, God has come. And he went through the very same thing that you and I are going through tonight. But I'm going to tell you what, children. It's going to be worth it one day. Everything that you went through, every trouble, every trial that you went through, I, I'm going to tell you what tonight, children, it's going to be worth it. Just hold on and wait a little longer because God will come by in your hour of need tonight. God will come by and he'll see you through your trouble. He'll see you through your trial. No matter what you're going through tonight, you may think that the devil's got you, but the devil's a liar. You trust in the Lord, a God that's got all power in heaven and earth tonight, and God will see you through your trouble. Uh -huh. But children, you've got to let him work. That's right. God will work if you'll let him. Yes. Are you willing to hold on? Yes. I don't know what I'm going to face tomorrow. That's right. May not even be here tomorrow. But I know by the help of the Lord, if I die tonight, I'm going to go to sleep in the arms of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, if I die tonight, I'm going to go to sleep in the arms of the Lord. And I'll go to God. He went away and prepared that place to where he is that I can be also. God has given me that promise tonight, children. I, I'll say it tonight, don't say it tonight. No faith tonight can separate you from the love of God. Nothing but yourself tonight. You can put old flesh in the way tonight, but I'm going to tell you what, God will give you power and God will give you strength to endure that power tonight. Oh, I say one thing when you're going through your trouble and you're going through the trial and you think you can't go on no longer. Just get on your hands and knees and begin to pray out to God. Begin to cry out to God. And I'll say one thing, God is there and he's on the job 24-7. Yes. I'll say one thing, it might be in a time when nobody wants to listen to you, but that's just the devil telling you that. You begin to cry out to God and God will come by and God still yes. answers prayers today just like he answered prayers years ago. That's right. God changes not. Yeah. He said, I am God and I change not. God is right there, children. Every day that we walk on this old earth, yes. no matter what you're going through, I, he said multitudes and multitudes I, in the valley of decision. I, but yea, the Lord is near I, in the valley of decision. I, I, sometimes we got to be like old Jacob of old, I, and we got to wrestle with that angel. I, and I'll say one thing, can you see tonight that when Jacob began to wrestle with that angel, I, and the day began to break, I, and he said, let me go. I, and he said, I'll not let you go. I, until you bless me. I, I believe that old Jacob, my faith, I, I believe that he wrestled with that angel uh, all the way to the dawn day. Uh, but brother, I'll say one thing. Even when the socket of his joint was out of socket, he still wrestled with that angel. And he cried out to God. No matter what you're going through, uh, no matter what your trouble, keep crying out to God. And God will answer your prayer. Hallelujah. That's a prayer answer God that we serve. Amen. That's the God that I serve tonight. I'm glad tonight that I serve the God of this Bible. Amen. Aren't you tonight that you're glad that you serve the God of this Bible? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ah, uh, yes, Lord. Listen. Ah, uh, he said, listen, the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the what? Everybody say that. Victory. Amen. Give us us the victory tonight. You didn't lose this battle. God's won this battle. And God said he'll fight yours too. Listen. And but listen, but through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work 
of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. No matter what you're doing for God, you keep a doing it tonight because it's not in vain. Right. And no matter what God tells you to do, keep right on doing it. Keep right on praying to God. Keep right on wrestling with that angel when you're in trouble. But you've got to go to him and you've got to ask and you've got to seek and you've got yes. to knock upon his door tonight. And I'll say one thing when you're asking and you're seeking tonight, God will come by and God will answer your prayer in his time. Yes. Sometimes we want to answer the right thing when we call out. Amen? Yes. Then we get discouraged because God doesn't answer our prayer and we think he's no longer there. But you know what? We walk by faith. Uh -huh. Amen? We yes. walk by faith. We don't walk by sight. Yes. And you know what? God said he would answer your prayer. So you keep praying to God until God answers that prayer. Uh -huh. That old devil's a liar. He tells you you can't keep praying. Uh -huh. Keep right on praying. Keep right on seeking God. God will see you through. I don't care where you're at tonight. You know what? We've all got to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you may not be where somebody else is, but I'll say one thing tonight. If you're doing all that you know to do, keep right on doing it, and God will add to it. You know what? You might be have, have habits. You might have habits in your life that you think that you can't give up, but I'll say one thing. If you love the Lord, you keep asking God, and God will take those things from you. Uh -huh. Because God yes. is greater than anything that you're going through tonight. Right. Yes, he is. Right. And things that you think that you can't give up, you'll find that they'll be easily given up uh -huh. when you give them all to God. Yes. And let God do the lead. Listen, go with me just a minute to 1 Thessalonians. <coughs> yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Thirteenth verse. First Thessalonians chapter four. Thirteen. He said, But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which walk. What did he say again? That are what? Are dead? Did he say sleep? Amen. Which are asleep. Listen. That you sorrow not. Even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say and believe by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain, listen, unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. And with the what? Now you see there can't be no secret rapture. Amen? Come on. If there's a shout and there's a trumpet sounding, there's going to be a whole lot of noise. There's going to be a whole lot of shouting in that graveyard. Hey Amen. I'll say one thing tonight. When that trumpet begins to sound and people begin to shout, that's no secret rapture. You're going to see things coming forth. You're going to see people raised from that day. Uh, hey Amen. God is going to raise them out of there. No such thing as a secret rapture. Listen. Hey Amen. For God shall deceive the Lord himself, shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead shall what? The dead in Christ shall what? Rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. Therefore, therefore, comfort ye one another with these words. Amen. I'm glad tonight that God is going to make that go. There's going to be a shouting in that old graveyard one day. Amen. And I'll say one thing. When God comes back, you're going to see the stone broke. You're going to see people raising out of the grave. And won't that be a glorious day when God begins to bring each and every one of them. And we're going to meet him up in the sky to be with him forever. Uh -huh. Amen. How I can't wait for that day. Amen. And I'll say one thing. I want to go to the book of Revelations. Just a minute before we get out of the way. 
the 21st chapter, I believe it is the 20, 21st chapter. Revelations 21. Amen. Yes, Lord. What a day that'll be. Yes. When the Lord my God, I shall see. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. What a day that's going to be. Yes. Glory to God. That makes you shout tonight. Yes. That'll give you something to shout about. Uh -huh. That'll raise the dead. Yes. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. That'll give you something to shout about. Oh, I'll say one thing. Those words of God, that's comfort to my soul. That's food for my soul. That'll make me grow. That'll make me live forever if I just abide in God's word. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Listen. 21. And verse 1, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the, for, for the first heaven and the first earth were what? Passed away. Passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a voice, listen. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with what? Yeah. Is with men. And we will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, be with them and be their God. And listen, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'll say one thing. Listen. And there shall be no more death, and no more sorrow, no more crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Amen. God has promised us right. a glorified body. Yeah. We won't have to worry about this old thing no more, because I'll say one thing. God has given us that power. No more pain. Yeah. No more sorrow. No more tears. Yeah. What a day that's going to be when we're all up in that air to be with God forever. Uh, Amen. Yeah. Listen. And he said, set upon the throne, said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write these words are true and faithful. Yeah. And he saith to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life free. Uh -huh. Listen, he that what? Overcometh. overcometh. You've got to overcome these troubles. Yes. You've got to overcome these trials that uh -huh. you're going through today. You've got to overcome the pain that you're going through right now. You've got to go, go through the morning that you're going through now. You've got to overcome it. But uh -huh. God said he'd give you power and he'd give you strength and he'd see you through. But listen, he that overcometh shall inherit what? All things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. Now listen, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and idolaters and all what liars shall have their part in the lake of fire which burns it burns for fire and brimstone which is the what second death how many want to live with for eternity with the lord yes. amen yes. don't you i want to make it more than anything this night i'm going to make it yes. my heart's desire is to see each and every one of us make it you know what, children? I know there's a lot of people today that don't seem that they can't get along with one another. But you know what? What does the Bible say? Does the Bible say that God is love? Yeah. Doesn't he say he's love? Uh -huh. And you know what? If you got the God of love down the side, you've got to love one another. Uh -huh. Amen? Yeah. We've got to love one another. Yeah. You might not like what somebody else does, but you know what? Only thing that I can do, Brother Glenn, is pray for that in right. That's all I can do. I can tell my Heavenly Father, and but you know what? It takes God to do the work. Amen? Yes. It takes God to do the work. But we still got to come together, and we've got to love one another. We can't fight against one another. we got to come together in unity, under one body, under one spirit. Amen? Yes. Not three, not four, but under one spirit. That's yes. God's spirit, not mine, but God. Yes. And you know what? If we let God lead us and guide us, God said, 
he would see us through all the way to the end. He said, he that endureth till the end, the same shall be saved. How many believe that tonight? That you can be saved tonight, but you've got to endure to the end. That's right. Might be a hard road, but God said you could make it. Uh -huh. Amen? God said you could make it. And if God said it, I believe it. Amen? Amen. Now, I know the Word of God, and we've got to take what the Word of God says. If God says you can make it, I believe everyone in here tonight can make it. But we've got to give it all to the Lord. Amen? Yes. That's all standing tonight. I love each and every one tonight, children. love everybody that's in here tonight. I don't have all against anybody. Don't have all against one. Love each and every one. My heart's desire is to see each and every one of us make it. I want to see you make it. You can make it by holding on and enduring to the end. Don't give up. No matter what you're going through tonight, you may be going through troubles, you may be going through trials, but just realize something. Look what God went through. Look what he went through. And you know what? God said you can make it through, and I believe that tonight. You can make yes. it, but have faith and believe God.